Hi everyone and welcome to Pets on Parade. I'm Sarah Fisher and today I'm here with Laura Faber. Hi, welcome. Hi, happy to be here. <laughs> and we have a lot of really cute furry friends from the Humane Society of the Treasure Coast that are waiting for homes. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Who's the first one coming up? All right, first mm -hmm. up is one of our volunteers, Melanie, and she is here with Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. This is Buddy, he's nine years old. Um, he's, uh, he's been in our shelter since August, which is crazy because he's the sweetest little boy. Um, he is nine, I said that, and he has <laughs> early um, heart, heart disease, heart early disease, stages, early yeah. stages of heart disease. But he is so soft and he is just so sweet. He is such a lovey boy. Yeah, and he just needs a loving, calm home because of his heart. He needs a loving, calm home and somewhere that's not in a shelter, somewhere that's a nice, yeah. cozy bed that he can snuggle up the rest of his days on, right? Absolutely, and despite that, you know, I've played with Buddy in one of our uh, Get Acquainted rooms, and he is actually quite still very very playful. Yeah. So don't, don't let his age or his um, early heart disease scare you. He's still a very playful boy. Yeah, he's definitely a volunteer favorite too. Yes. He's in the <laughs> lobby kennel, and people walk by, and he sticks their hands out, and he's like, hey, play with me. <laughs> so he's super sweet. Hopefully we'll get him home. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> okay, who do we All have? right, next up we have Joel, and Joel is here with Dr. Finkelstein, yeah, Dr. which is a really fun name. Yeah, Dr. Finkelstein definitely has a special story. Laura, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Hi. And everybody out there, here is Dr. Finkelstein, who is a little... Nervous. Nervous <laughs> right now. Um, so he's a two-year-old male. He's incredibly loving. Um, all through, at all times. This is, uh, it, with the exception of uh, the wound on his neck, has taken some time to uh, heal, but it does look much better than it's uh, been recently, so he is definitely on the mend. Yeah. And he's looking for that special family to come and give him the kind of care that he really needs and deserves. <laughs> and he's stuck. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> here, here we go. Here we go baby. Yeah, he came in um, as a stray with this wound. We're not really sure what happened, mm -hmm. but um, he has been very great with treatment and with cleanings. And hopefully he's going to start healing up and just be an adorable, loving cat like he always is. <laughs> yes, one of his favorite pastimes is flopping down on his back and letting you rub his belly and, oh, yeah. um, you know, <laughs> going in between your legs. But he's just very affectionate, loves to be loved. Yeah, look at him. Now, now there he's, he goes. he's starting now he's to relax. <laughs> he was a little camera shy at first, but now I think he's showing us <laughs> what he's got. <laughs> uh, we're going we're gonna to pass before he shows us the jump. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank All you, right, Joel. Bye, thanks, Joel. Next up, we have Diane, and Diane is here with an adorable little kitten. So Come on cute. in, Diane. Yes. Tell us about our friend here. He is four months old, Aww. and he was a stray, and he gets a little anxious being around people, but I think he's going to be just fine once I he gets hear him Yeah, purring. me too. Yes, can you hear? Here, let's see if we can hear him purr. He He's is adorable. a big purr machine. Yeah. <laughs> and, and his name is McCavity. Now, McCavity is Ooh. one of the cats in T.S. Eliot's poem, Cats. Mm -hmm. And McCavity is the one who cheats at, at cards. Oh, in the, the book. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, oh, there he goes. Now he wants to see yeah. how cute he is. <laughs> so he would be a very sweet animal for somebody. A perfect companion for someone. Yes. You can tell he's sweet because he's purring up a storm and he's trying to escape, so he's probably very energetic. He'll probably need a cat tree or something in his home so he can run around. Thank you, Diane. Thanks so much, Diane. Bye. Was it McCavity? McCavity. McCavity. That's it's so a fun cool. name. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then now we have a very special guest and a shelter favorite. Um, we have Kelly coming up here with Francis. Yeah. Now this okay. is a furry friend we don't normally see here at our shelter. Yes, and he's been here a while because I think people are afraid of him. They don't realize rats are the best animal ever to have as a pet. And they're very smart and sociable. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Come here, Francis. <laughs> show everybody your cute, handsome face. Oh, Aww. Kelly. So Francis is a young adult rat, <laughs> and he's very, very friendly. He loves to climb and... He needs lots of exercise so he doesn't get chubby. <laughs> and 
Aww. He's very friendly. He'll come up even if he's in his little bed. You can hear him <laughs> sniffing. Yeah, yeah, he's he is he's <laughs> sniffing you right up. He likes to hide in your hair there, Kelly. Once in a while, he'll put his his little tail around your arm. Let me see if I can get him to eat for you. And he'll you see how cute he really is. He might not. He's a little camera shy today. Yeah. Want to get him close? He's used to his uh, his giant big cage we have yeah, for him. Yeah, he's got so a condo. This over is at very the different today. <laughs> Hi. He's very sweet. If you come when you're cleaning his cage, he'll come to talk to you and visit you. And, and he he loves taking treats out of your hand. I think he's yes. a little nervous now, but yes. when he's in the cage, the other day he was taking lots of treats. Hi, <laughs> our hello, hands. Hi, you're so cute. <laughs> So, and you know, a lot of people don't realize rats make really, really good pets. Um, I had a rat, I had two rats growing up, and they are, can be trained like dogs. They can like jump through hoops and they can just, my rat laid in bed with me and just cuddled with me just like a little dog and he was the sweetest thing. So, um, they're extremely smart animals. So I just, you know, I wish more people would give them a chance as a pet. All right, All Francis. Hey, right, Francis. Francis, we're gonna go back in. Oh, he feels comfortable in his yeah, cage. He popped that's right back in. Yep. There we go. Thank you, Kelly, mm -hmm. for showing us Francis. And he's been here again a very long time. So if any, if you know anyone, even if you don't want Francis, but you know someone that is a rat lover, please let them know Francis needs a home. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yep. um, and then finally, we have one more critter here to mm -hmm. show you. We have Karen, and Karen's got an adorable little buddy that she's. She's working her mm -hmm. way up here with. And he's one of my favorites. Yes, very sweet, sweet critter. She, she. she. I always got it sorry. wrong. <laughs> Karen, always on the ball. Yes. Well, try. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bolt. She's a little girl. She's mm. about four months old. I think she's been at the shelter, oh, maybe a month or so. Yeah. Um, she's very friendly. You want to put her down and yeah. see, let her roam around a little bit? Let's see if she... She, yeah, she's definitely, some of our guinea pigs are a little more skittish, but she doesn't mind. Look, like, a lot of times if you pet a guinea pig, they mm -hmm. flinch. Look at her she's just hanging very, out. very, very calm. And do you know what I love most about her? Is this right here that's sticking out is a little beautiful eyelash. Oh, she's got long <laughs> lashes. Just on one eye, but I it's was, a fashion statement. I was wondering <laughs> what that was. Yeah. 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 But she's a very sweet girl, and, and um, she would love to find a really nice home. Yep, um, I'm sure she would. And she she would, yeah, oh, she's, do you hear her? Yeah, she's she's oinking. Yeah, she's talking. Can you do it again? Because that was so cute. It was really adorable. <laughs> we, I think we missed it. Mm -hmm. And she'd be a great family pet because she is so sociable, you yeah, know? Yeah. yeah, you can tell she's been handled and mm -hmm. yep. yeah, she's very yeah, used to yeah, people. Yeah, she's and and Karen, you're one of our Critter volunteers. Yes. 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 Do you want to talk a little bit? We call her the Critter Whisperer. Yes, yeah, she we is. Do. Actually, she got that award last I year, did, the Critter Whisperer Award. I was, I was literally <laughs> shocked I when you called my name. but. Um, and how do you yeah. like volunteering here? I love it. That's one reason why I moved to Florida was to volunteer oh, here. Oh, good for you. So, yeah, it was, um, you yeah, love I, it. I, I, the critters are the underdogs as far as I'm concerned yeah. um, in the pet world. And they all have their own personalities. They just don't ever get a chance to let them shine. Mm -hmm. And uh, people would just be so surprised yeah. at, um, the bunnies and the guineas and the rats, and they're also individual, just like cats and dogs are, and they uh, really should get more exposure. Yeah. Well, if you're interested in becoming a critter uh, volunteer like Karen here, our Critter Whisperer, you <laughs> can join our Critter Care team yes, yes. Um, or our volunteer team and, and our various other departments by visiting HSTC, the number one, dot org, um, and fill out a volunteer application. We'll be in touch with you. You can come to an orientation, learn more about all the different volunteer departments and opportunities that we have here at HSTC. Um, and then just join our team, have a ton of fun, and help the animals find yeah. their loving homes. Help the animals. Every so much fun. Every helps. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much, thank Karen. You. Bye, Bye, tears to my eyes uh, yes. just talking about yes. it. Yes. So, oh, thank well, you. thank you, Karen. Thank you. You know, a lot of people th think of our shelter and they're like, we're going to go adopt a dog and a cat. And they don't even realize that we have rabbits and guinea pigs and roosters, pot belly pigs sometimes. So the critter department is anything that's not a dog or a cat is considered a critter. And um, if anyone is interested in adopting these adorable critters, come think of us, Humane Society of the Treasure Coast.
All right, so that's all the cats and critters we have for you today. So we're gonna go on a short break. But before we do, I wanted to talk a little bit about an event that's coming up. It's our annual Paws and Claws Gala. It's the biggest event of the year for us. And it's taking place on, um, at Hudson's on the River. And the theme is One, One Hot, Hot Havana, Havana Night. Night. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so if you are interested, go on our website to learn more and we would love to see you there. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back to Pets on Parade. <laughs> Today we have, who's this? This the is Tipsy Simon, <laughs> and she is eight years old, and she's a chihuahua, short-haired. <laughs> well, she looks long-haired to me, but uh, she is eight, but she's like a puppy. She loves to play with the ball. She can jump really high, and um, she seems really easygoing. She's super playful and friendly. I love her. She was surrendered by some, um, her owners couldn't afford her anymore, so they brought her back to here, mm. which was good because we want to take care of her and get her another new home. I'm fortunate that she, they couldn't take care of her. Right? Come on, and she come. loves to play with yeah. balls. She's clearly a delightful, yeah. delightfully <laughs> playful dog. You wouldn't know she's eight years old. No. Acts like a I brand mean, new puppy. Eight isn't old, old, but sometimes, but she's definitely playful. And you know, come here, Bob, Bob, Tipsy. Um, a lot of people come in and they only see big dogs. It's because our small dogs get adopted so quickly, but we get them in really often. They're just adopted within a day or two. Yeah. So I would recommend if anyone's looking for a small dog to go on our website, our website's live, which means it's updated live. And if you search for dogs and there's a small dog there, it's gonna be immediately on our website. And that's when you know to stop what you're doing and come on in <laughs> and, and meet, um, and meet, meet our little ones. Yes. Yep. So, Tipsy Simone. Tipsy Simone. It's so elegant. It is very elegant. For <laughs> Come an elegant here. little dog. Let me see if she'll play with the ball again. Ready, Tipsy? <gasps> bah! No, she's, she's thirsty. thirsty. <laughs> she's been running around for a while. Ready? Go. 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 Here we go. All right. There. Oh, I, you know what? I think we wore her out. <laughs> I think so too, yeah. She likes that ball better. Yeah. All right, so um, if anyone's interested in adopting her, come and get her. She's gonna go quick, so and come on she's in. She's eight years old. Is her uh, adoption fee waived? It, it is. That's and a great point, she's Debbie. She's spayed. She's vaccinated. Uh, she's dewormed. She has the works rabies vaccine. Yeah. It's a great deal. To she's ready to go adopt. home and she microchip. Is. Yep. All right, so ready. come on, get her. All right, you guys, I'm in love with this dog. <laughs> What's not to love? And what, who is this? She's beautiful. This oh. is Maisie. She's six, around six years old. She was found at the Treasure Coast Mall with another dog, so apparently she gets along with other dogs. Oh. Um, she's super sweet. She uh, knows all nice. sorts of commands. She takes treats gently. She walks perfect on a leash, and I don't think she's going to be here long. Yeah, she's so what beautiful. you're saying is she's the perfect dog <laughs> and she's going to make someone very happy. Yep, She's beautiful. She's just sweet. Um, so she definitely was someone's pet. And you know, when animals come in as strays, we put them on a stray hold. And that's a time where we really look everywhere for their owners. We post all over social media and flyers and whatnot. So um, I guess no one came for her. No one made a lost report. So we had to put her up for adoption. But look at this beauty. Yeah, stop Absolutely me because I might just take her home today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she'd mind, Sarah. Yeah. Oh. She'd love it. So she, did, she is heartworm positive, but the shelter takes care of that, so yep. nothing to worry about there. Yeah, and a heartworm, um, a lot of people are scared of that word, but it's not contagious. And we take care of all of the, um, the medical and financially um, until they're heartworm cleared even after adoption so it's not so scary you just she just has to have some light activity no no running no jogging with her until she's all clear from heartworms yep. right all right so hopefully we'll get her home if it's not mine <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All 
All right, so now we are here with Sean and Cookie. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. And Who tell is us this a little beautiful bit. lady? So, Cookie is a three year old, 67 pound female shepherd mix. With all of her speckles, she could have some kind of spaniel in there. Uh. <laughs> is just, she's very easygoing. Um, she was a mom dog, we can tell by looking at her. Yeah. And so she's not, at least right now, not big on chasing toys or doing anything like that, but she's just really calm and really sweet. Come here, Cookie. And Aww. she's gonna lay down for us Aww. now. Oh, she's know. gonna, she wants some belly rubs. I this know. is perfect. Oh, she's the sweetest and thing. She, guys, she is so soft. She's the prettiest, prettiest girl. Can Aren't you, you a good girl? Hi? Personally, yeah. I always find that the dogs that we know that have been mom dogs are just, they're I super think. sweet. They have that nurturing nature and they just kind of love everyone. <laughs> what you doing, Cookie? Can you get up? Cookie, up. No, she's taking a nap, Sean. She's comfy <laughs> down there. She knows her commands. Good she girl. Sure <laughs> Good girl, Cookie. Cookie. Can, can yep. you turn around so everybody can Show see. everybody your pretty face. You she wants to show everyone her beauty right now. There. Oh. And again, super soft. She is a larger dog. If you have a weight restriction or anything, she is 67 pounds. Mm -hmm. But um, she's, she's easy to handle. She walks well on the leash. I can't say enough good things about her. Yeah, I think you might take her home. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Full house. Full yeah. house. Somebody oh. come and get this dog. Yes, she's so cute. <laughs> She'll be adopted quickly, so yes, come on come by. Come meet her yeah. and just see how sweet she is in person. Yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, Sean. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right, we are back here with Heidi and G, and G has a very special dog with um, that needs a special home. So Heidi, tell us a little bit about G. Okay, this is G, and he is about a year and a half, and he's been with us for probably six months. He was um, unfortunately a surrender. Um, the people couldn't take care of him anymore. He is high energy. He is really nervous here at the shelter, and he has stranger danger. So anybody new, he gets real fearful of them, and. Um, we would love it if somebody could maybe even just foster him for a couple of weeks or maybe adopt. He does get along with other dogs, so that's a win-win. Woohoo! <laughs> said, oh, I think I smell a lizard. And he does like to chase lizards, don't you? But he also does, he likes to play fetch, he knows all his commands, and he likes to go swimming in our little swimming pool that we have in our agility field. And today we did some agility before it started raining. And um, so I really think that if somebody had some patience, he would make a great pet for somebody. Oh, you were talking to the people. <laughs> he says, this is the crazy. So you can see that he worries a little bit. It's all just because he isn't used to this kind of environment here. He'd rather be in a home. So if you really could um, have some time and he'd make a great pet, he really is a good boy. And he's a perfect size. He's only like 38 pounds. So he's a great size. He's not one of the big dogs. So hopefully um, maybe somebody will come and just even foster him for a couple of weeks just to see how he does. Yeah, and I'm standing over here because he doesn't know me yet. So yeah. what we, oh, hello, hi. 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 Oh, it's okay. Oh, we made friends. Yeah, what so a good boy. Heidi's been really great with these dogs because what she's doing is one person at a time. She's, yeah. hi, she's yeah. introducing these dogs too. And they're starting to very slowly get used to humans. So. This is the first time G's meeting me and he's doing a really great job. Yeah, now he's like, I gotta go, bye. <laughs> All right, so hopefully we will get a home for G. <laughs>All right, well, next up we have John here with one of our residents. Who is this? Hey, today I have Doc Jr. Doc Jr. is an awesome dog, um, kind of like middle-aged, super sweet. Most beautiful eyes on the world, in the, on, in the world, <laughs> and um, it's just a really good dog. She's been here way too long. Her eyes are just mesmerizing. Yeah. I, I mean, I can't even. Come here. Yeah, show just show those eyes. beautiful show eyes. And I know I've spent a lot of time with, uh, time with Doc Jr. She loves belly rubs. Doc, yeah. would you like a belly rub? Let's see. Yes. You want a belly rub? Oh, fine. Uh, she's just excited to be outside. She sees a ball. She's like, what is going there's, on here? I, I have such really cute pictures of her just on her back smiling. She loves to smile. She's such a happy dog. Love is it a she or a he? There we Did go. I, I got the belly oh, rub going. Oh, it's a oh, he. Oh, I was wrong. You were right. Oh. You know what? He had to prove, he had to prove that right. he was a, a he. he. I'm oh, so sorry. Goodness. I called you a girl. That's not nice. <laughs> you know why? What it's a the good pink boy. leash and the purple yeah. collar. <laughs> what a good boy. Oh, man. Well, he's a very, very good pup. 
Uh, yeah, oh, I smell. I No, I don't. I must smell like somebody else. <laughs> He's investigating. Here, no. Doc. Here, Doc. Doc Ready? Junior. Doc Junior. Doc Junior. You know what? There's so many smells out here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's just running around, wants to smell everything. All right, so yeah, Doc Jr. has been here a long time, so let's hopefully we can get him home, right? Mm -hmm. And all the other animals that you saw today. All right, well, that is everyone we have. If anyone's interested in adopting, stop by our shelter in Palm City. And we also have cats at both of our thrift stores. We will see you next time.